President Ali Bongo claimed another victory, his father having ruled here before him since the 1960s. 50 years, we're tired, and this is why we're making demands. Yesterday, protesters attacked Parliament after the election result was announced. Just 6,000 votes between the two candidates. Bongo's rival, Jean Ping, a former diplomat, winning in six out of nine provinces. The violence sparked by a vast turnout reported from the president's home province, which allowed him to give this acceptance speech. A majority of you voted for me in this election, but all the people voted in peace and transparency, which I congratulate you for. Mr. Ping says everyone knows he won, while the US and the old colonial power France have called for Gabon to publish each polling station result. Last night, Ping's party headquarters were attacked by the presidential guard and the police. The government said it was targeting criminals who had attacked the parliament first. Dozens have been injured, three people reported killed, over a thousand arrested and no sign of an end to this political crisis. I have decided that as soon as they remove my bullets, I'll be back out on the streets tomorrow. The opposition are calling on President Bongo to step down. This country of under two million people thrown into chaos by this election result. Well, a short time ago, I spoke to Jean Ping on the phone from Libreville. I started by asking what the situation was there. We are under the dictatorship of one man, who has been there with the clan, with his family, ruling the country for half a century, and who want to continue for a new half a century. The population has rejected that violently. Can you imagine the president is using a helicopter to shoot his population? And the reaction is unanimously protesting against that. Are you, you saying know, people are being him. killed? Yes, of course. How many? Well, in my headquarters, two people have been killed and about a uh, little bit less than 20 injured. About 50 people have been killed in the city by, by his uh, presidential guards. How can you think that this can continue like that? It can't. It's the beginning of the end. Are you under attack where you are? Oh, yes, you know. Oh, everybody, I don't know if they might kill me tonight or not. It depends on them. I have asked protection from the various embassies. Who have you asked for protection? Everybody. The Americans, the French, the European Union. What do they say? They say well, they, we are transmitting your, the demand to our authorities. So I am waiting for. How will this be solved? Should the election be rerun? No, no, no. We are not asking for a rerunning of election because things are clear. We are just asking to be counted in front of the observers. Because you believe you have won? I don't believe that I won. I know that I have won. Everybody knows that I won. The president <laughs> says they are criminals. Well, you see, this is somebody who is a criminal, you know, calling the peaceful people criminals. It's always like that with that man, you know, who is criminal, who has been confiscating the power for 50 years of this country. Is it me or him? The besieged opposition leader in Gabon, Jean Ping. Kathy. Thanks, Krish.